Welcome to Tuesday's Daily Challenge, where we will focus on how God has filled this world with many wonders to show His love for us. Today, we want you to slow down enough to notice His awesome creations and to explore their tiny details. God knows that when we do so, it will inspire our heartfelt praise, lower our anxieties, and help us to be kinder and more compassionate as we grow to be more like Him. Today, I would like for you to focus on Psalm 86 verses 8 and 10, which says, There is none like you, O Lord, for you are great and do wondrous things. As you go through your day, try to observe God's creation. And every time you observe one of His wonders, recite Psalm 86 verses 8 and 10. Hello everyone, I'm Eva Pardidi. I'll be presenting today's devotion titled, Don't Worry, Try Wonder. Jesus looked out over the crowd of people. They were tired, worried, stressed, sad, and overwhelmed by life. His heart was filled with compassion for them. They were so concerned about the everyday struggles of life that they barely had time to think about God and how much He loved them and cared for them. If only they knew how much they were loved, He thought, and how hard God was working to take care of them. Jesus had so much to tell them about God and about life. He wanted to give the people something that would always remind them of God's loving care. He looked up and heard the birds twittering in the skies. See these little birds, Jesus said, look at them. See how God gives them food and takes care of them. You are much more precious to him than the little birds. And look at these flowers, Jesus pointed to the fragile daisies. Their petals are so delicate and beautiful and your father who clothes them in their gorgeous dresses will make sure that you will always have clothes too. So please don't worry about these things. God loves you very much. You are very precious to him and he notices all the things you need every single day. God made all the beautiful things in the world to show us how much he loves and cares for us. Every one of his amazing creation light, water, flowers, trees, fruit, vegetables, grains, stars, moon, sun, the planets, was made to bring us joy. Each one of them is a gift for you. Whenever you find one of God's wonders, stop and take time to explore it very carefully. Notice the small details you haven't seen before and how carefully God made the petals on a flower, the leaves on a tree, the butterflies, the birds, and even the vegetables on your plate. Each little detail reminds us that our Father cares about the detail of our lives too. Whenever you are worried about something, imagine you are putting your worry in God's hands. The hands that created all these wonders as love's gifts for you. Spend time looking at one of his creations, noticing how wonderfully he cares about it. Then notice how your worries melt into wonder. Amen and God bless you all. Hi friends, I have a prayer exercise that I would like to share with you. Together as a family, gather beautiful examples of nature. They can be flowers and plants as I have here, and arrange them on a table. Or go to your neighborhood park or even backyard with your family and gather wonderfully created things that have fallen to the ground so that no plants are damaged. Invite each person to choose an item and find something about their object that fills them with wonder. Praise God together in sentence prayers of wonder to celebrate his creation. Let's always remember to give God the praise that he deserves. For Tuesday's activity, we encourage all families to plan to have a meal together and have family worship. For some families, it may be breakfast and morning worship or dinner and evening worship. Also, depends on the context. Some families live in separate cities, different states, or even in another country. So you can plan to meet virtually for a meal and for worship. Do whatever works best for your situation. 
Throughout the day, look for something wonderful that God has made and take a photo or a mental picture of it. Draw it or write a sentence about it in your journal. Look at all the intricate details of its creation and marvel at God's amazing artistry. Talk about your moments of wonder when you eat together. You can even look for wonder in the design of the delicious meals that you are having. Smell them, feel them, taste them, and notice how they are made. You can also go outside and look at the sky together during the day or at night. The sky is continually changing like a massive watercolor canvas. Notice how beautiful it is. Be filled with awe at the magnitude of the universe. Look at each other in your family with a sense of wonder. Identify one thing about each other that is wonderfully created and share it during your family mealtime or worship. Everyone is made in the image of God and that makes every person very special.